Alright, now it's time for the final boss. For the first time. I want my first reaction to be good, so we're doing this now. What the hell? Oh my god, it's transforming. Whoa! Wow, who knew it was that badass of a uh, observatory? And this has to be my favorite music in the game. I, d I love this. I love the soundtrack. I don't know why. It's just. It feels like this is the final fight and you're going against, like, something epic. It just feels worth it. And wow, we're just ripping through spaceships like nobody's mother. <laughs> Okay, then. Um, but how am I gonna get there? I mean, just... Am I gonna fly? Oh, that works, too. Make a magical bridge of light. Speaking about light, I saw Thor yesterday. And by yesterday, I mean my birthday, May 14th. I have to update you guys on time, because... I have to think in a fourth dimension in order to talk to you. So, anyways. Next up... The final boss, the fate of the universe. And I, okay. I, I don't know why, but I think this is the most epic of any final level music. It, it just, it feels like this is the end. You are going up against your final opponent. Even though the final opponent is weak. You know, Bowser, I'm sorry, you're a pushover. But it just, it feels right. It feels like you were supposed to verse him. It feels like this is an epic conclusion to an epic game. This... It just feels awesome. You gotta love these soundtracks. I mean... Some people complain about Nintendo games just like, Oh, they don't have any story or anything. Well, they may not have any story, but they have great gameplay. And they have incredible soundtracks. You can't deny that. And if you do, well... You're an a-hole and go to hell away. Because Mario is known for its gameplay and known for its soundtracks. Same can be said of most Nintendo games. I mean, there are those you know, cringe games, but then there's games like this. This I consider to be one of Nintendo's better games that have come out in recent years. This is probably one of their best, if not their mess. I mean, Galaxy 2 had its own good things that came out with it, but, like, jeez. This started it out. This, this just brought Mario into a whole nother universe. It just, it expanded the ideas of how far Mario can travel outside of the Mushroom Kingdom and what he can do. I mean, you had, um, Sunshine, but, I mean, not a lot of people like Sunshine because of the reasons, the flood and everything else, but I mean, this, this just revolutionized Mario, made him just seem much more epic than he was, because he brought, like, his battle to a whole nother dimension. He crossed the universe in order to verse Bowser. He went through life and limb just to get Peach. I mean, Peach has been captured, but what? She's just a few, like... Like, what, a few places over? So it's not really too difficult, but I mean, yeah. I gotta say, this really revolutionary, oh, revolutionary, I, I can't speak English, revolutionized Mario in a way that's not been seen before previous to this game. And I like it. I mean, this may, it, it, it brings Mario on a much more grander scale than was seen previous to this. I mean, People still consider Super Mario World to be the greatest Mario game of all time. Doesn't mean it had its own share of problems, but I mean, it's not my favorite, but a lot of people, uh, it's either 64 or Super Mario World. For me, I would say Galaxy is my favorite of the Mario games. 
crap. Luigi. Oh wow, they actually changed her voice. Huh. Interesting. Don't worry, Peach, we'll save you. Oh wait, I thought we were supposed to save him Daisy. Crap. And whatever. I'm coming to get you, Bowser! Oh, that bastard. Yeah. It's times like this, I hate Baby Bowser. Or Bowser Jr. Yeah, it's ba it's totally Baby Bowser. We're, we're totally playing Yoshi's Island right now. There's a Yoshi's story. No, Yoshi's Island. I don't know why I said that. Uh, you got a massive sun there, but I don't see a galaxy. What are you going to create a galaxy with? A Big Bang or something? No, you won't. Okay. Uh, uh, here we go again. So, like previous fights, uh, he will do same things as last time. This time, he has a unique form. He transforms into this ball, and, well... I hit him. Yep. Do that. And basically, we do that a few more times, and then he's just like... Of course, he just likes to rage quit. There we go. Sorry, but you're just not on my level. I mean... Okay. Okay. This face of the fight, stand right next to him. Yeah. Ow. Alright. Okay. If you got one of these bouncy balls right up next to him, use this as a shield. Because it works and. Ow. Yep. There we go. Yeah, that's why I like doing it. It's abusive and it works. There we go. All right, and time for the final phase. How how long has it been already? Like a minute or two? All right. Let's see what you got, Bowser. Bam! Ow! I lost my life. Great. All right. So Bowser attempts to roll around this thing a few times. Then he decides to get smart and do that. But. Like the stupid idiot he is, he does that yet again. Crap. That's the only part about this fight that I hate. Uh, just because he seems to be an idiot and just runs around retardedly, I can't always catch him now. Hey, Bowser. Ow. I was gonna say, what the hell are you doing? Okay. There we go. There we go. Alright. Scream all you want. Ugh. Ah, I can't. Fireballs. They're so evil and nasty. Alright. Right here, Bowsy. BAM! Right! In the tokus. There we go. BAM! 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 And Bowser is out for the count. Huh. That was fun. But now it is time for the credits. So, with that, we get the Grand Star, the last one in the game. Hooray, we did it, we did it, yes. We did it! We're awesome! We beat Bowser, we kicked his ass, and we took his name, and... 
I mean, did stuff with it. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, one life, one star, one life left to live. So, with that, let's grab Peach, and let's go home. We saved everything.